What's going on everyone? My name is Glorious Mischief. Welcome back to another Elden Ring DLC episode. And I was exploring a little bit and I think I accidentally found progress. <laughs> I was just trying to gather up some Skadoo tree fraggies, which I found one here. And when I, which by the way, here, right here. So there's an extra Skadoo tree fragment right there. Um, but what I didn't realize is that right behind it, there's a little tunnel. Um, and when I went through the tunnel, I found that there's a little path, uh, that's kind of hidden away and tucked away in a little nook here, hidden, guarded by these humors, um, right up here. And when I went past here, I found a whole pathway to an area that I have not explored before. And I'm going to check it out with you guys. Um, yeah, it's been, I mean, it's been fun to just explore. Um, I found out some really cool secrets about uh, Skadoo tree fragments because I was like, oh, I wonder how many you can get. And so I looked up what like the major, like how many pluses you can get. Um, and it's way more than 10, which is cool. Um, but there's some Skadoo tree fraggies that are hidden in like plain sight. Um, I'll tag those right here so you can see exactly where those are. Basically, uh, I found some extra skadoos. I haven't leveled up my fraggies yet, uh, but I will do that with you guys. But check this out, dude. I found this whole area that's underneath the bridge. It's so cool. I haven't explored it yet. I just grabbed this. So first thing, whoa, is that a bear that's walking around? Interesting. Um, first things first, let's check out. I've gotten a couple skadoos. So let's see, skadoo tree blessing and Ooh, and 11. Perfect. So we're up to 11. I totally assumed that 10 was going to be the max because I kind of assumed that the DLC was not going to be that big. But man, I was mistaken. It turns out it's way bigger than I thought. Um, yeah. What's in here? I thought I saw a bear walking around. It might not have been a bear. Ooh, bear. Tell me, bear. Where are you, bear? Um, I don't know. I guess he's just gone. But there's a little... A little space here. Hey, excuse me. Pardon. Ooh, you've got a shield and you did your little roar when it, before I even got there. Ooh. So yeah, dude, I have to say, DLC. As far as DLCs go, ooh, chest hidden behind some boxes, dude? This is only going to feed into my obsession with rolling. Pearl shield talisman. Hold on, let me clear this guy out and let me check that out. I bet it's not great. I bet it's for shields. One would assume. <gasps> Quit your roaring, bud. Quit roaring at me. Let's check that. Um, talisman. Is it talisman? Oh, talisman. There it is. Who saw non-physical damage negation while guarding? Ooh, so if you are a shield boy, that is a really, really, really good uh, thingy. And it's just hidden right there. It literally is like the easiest one I could possibly get. To be fair, it is hidden in the depths of, like, this random spot. Ooh! Ooh, friend! Come on. Shoot your stuff at me. Is there another friend? Ow! I didn't mean shoot it at me. I meant shoot it near me. Come here, friend. Come on. Attack! Oh, man. I can do so much damage to him. That's hilarious. Oh, he pushed me. He done pushed me. Sweet! What'd you give me? Smithing Stone 8. <laughs> I get it. The DLC wants you to change your weapons. I wish I could, DLC. But that's not the life we've allowed ourselves to have. So, you know, here we are. I don't want to walk onto him. Oh, he's going to blow up, I think. No, he's not. He just was burning. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, he's stomping. I, ooh, fall down, brother. Heck yeah, let me give you a little Magakus. Right in the chest. Sweet. Is that it for him? Oh, he's still got some life. Not much, though. <laughs> 9k. Ooh, hold on. I'm gonna adjust my mic, sorry. Ooh, ah, sorry for the horrible noises. There we go. Um, cool. He didn't give me anything. But those two guys, I mean, you'd assume two guys. Two big old dudes. They're guarding something. 
I'm very curious what that is. I don't know. I think I need to, um, ooh, that's first and foremost. That's objective number one. Go and get the mappy thing, and then we can go exploring over here. There's a little cha oh, chasm that we can explore. I love that. Love that for us. But first and foremost, map fragment. Dude, last episode, let me tell you, I was amazed at the fact that that was a path forward. Because I'm like, dude, how are you supposed to find that? Like, that one was very deep, deep in a bunch of, like, random jumps, and the water was brutal. Ooh! Alright, cool. I'm, I can open this up again. I will do that real quick. Because I do have Mo Shackle. Sweet. I'll jump up there in just the hot minute. Uh, I wonder if that just leads me up to, like, the main plateau. Hello? This looks very interesting. Rao Ruins. What's down here? Ooh, cool. Okay, so that's where I came from. I came from over here, went under there. Ooh. And I explored over there. I did this one. It's just a forge that gives you some random weapons. Uh, none of them are obviously viable for me because I can't change weapons. <laughs> but, you know, if you are building a strength build, it gave you the scribed weapons. Let me see if I can pull them up real quick. Um, the, like, forge scribed weapons. Let's see. There, no, not that one. Um, do, 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 Smith script. Smith script. Axe. Um, and then there was another Smith script weapon there, but, you know, not exactly the things that we need in our lives, so... I skipped it because it doesn't have any effect on my playthrough. <laughs> as lame as that is to say, it's like, and also it's like, um, it's another one. It was another one of those dungeons where um, you have to set like the angle of the thing and do all that stuff. And it's like, eh, whatever. <gasps> no, is this another mausoleum? Wait a second. I'm just up on this nook and there's a mausoleum. Is it going to be like the one that I fought that first little ghost boy in? <gasps> I'm so excited. Is there going to be another ghost boy? Are we going to get another boss? Oh, we are totally getting another boss. First of all, I've got to turn this on just because... Just in case I've got to summon anyone for a quest line. And I don't think that you even need to turn them on for the quest line ones, but there's no quest line. Let's see. What are you? Red bear? <gasps> oh, he's cool. I love him. Oh, he's like, um, he's like yogurt from the uh, beginning of the game, or beginning of the DLC. Let's see. Let's see how, if I can... How much do you do? Oh, man! Red Bear, you're bananas. Let me heal. Ooh! He's... He be buck wildin'. I'm being so sensitive with him right now. Heal. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I'll attack you back. I can do plenty of damage to you. Ooh, have some of that. Hold it in your chest, Red Bear! I'm way more powerful than I was before when I fought that last ghost. <laughs> oh, he's going buck wild. Ooh! Oh, shoot! He's got blood loss. And he's got heals. Wee! Let's see if we can be annoying to him. <laughs> we can! <laughs> I need to get my, my stamina back. <laughs> Best part of that Ash of War is the disruption part of it. Ugh, let's just not even mess with them. Red Bear, I'm coming for you. Ooh, and then a little finisher, shall we? Oh, I shouldn't have spoken so soon. Come here, buddy. That was the messiest fight right there. Messiest ending. Wow, Red Bear. Not hard. Love him. Still had plenty of heals. I wasn't even very good fighting him. That was my warm-up fight for the day. Ooh, we get his claw. His helmet, armor, and gauntlets and greaves. I will check all of those out real quick. Let's see his little claws. See how it scales with the decks. Claw, 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 claws. There they are. Uh, C for strength and E for decks? Wow, that's terrible. Why are all these claws not good on decks, man? Kind of frustrating. Oh, I forgot to check um, his little hat. I bet it's going to be terrible, but we got to check it out. I mean, it is also cool. It is terrible. Let's see. Um, bear communion? <laughs> oh! So, in the playtest, 
I guess, um, there was a bunch of, uh, like, bugs where the bears were dropping dragon hearts. And when they were doing that, everyone was like, oh, bears are dragons. And so I guess that uh, must be a callback to that. That's funny, man. <laughs> what a random little thing. Is there anything else on this plateau? I'm going to just check real quick before I just jump right back to where I was, because... I'm probably never coming up to this plateau. Oh, what a beautiful view of this area. That's so cool. So cool. Is that? That's the main castle, right? Yeah. That tower's sweet. Can I get up to that tower? Ooh. I bet I can get up to that tower. Very curious indeed. I love it. Cool. Yeah, I think that might be everything up here. That's kind of funny. It's just this random little place with a really, really lame mini boss. Uh, sorry, Red Bear. I don't mean to talk too much trash on you, dude, but legitimately, that was about as easy as mini bosses get in the DLC right now. That being said, I am plus 11 on the skadoos. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. Okay, is this where I jump? Yeah. Alright, don't, don't kill me. Love it. Made it. Ooh. And where's the other one? Is it here? Ooh, yeah, I think I can make that easy peasy. Whee! Perfect. As long as you're near it, it seems like pretty forgiving with the uh, placement of those, which is nice. Because it's a little bit terrifying to go flying through there. Ooh, what is this? This is like this little town. Temple Ruins! Or Temple Town Ruins. I made... There was a note about the ruins, right? Rao Ruins. Rao. <laughs> Rounds. <laughs> Ooh. This, that looks very dragon fighty to me. Um, well, now now that I know that Skidoo trees are on those little pot boys, the guys who carry pots, by the way, um, I've been on the lookout for pot boys. I'm like, let me get at those pot boys. What's on top of that root? Did y'all see that? There's like a little thing on top of there. Let me up there. Let me up. Sorry for jumping on your head. Let me up. Can I get up here? Ooh. Oh, jeez, I fell off right away. <laughs> All right, let's get off our horse because... Oh my gosh, Torrent. He handles like a dang Mack truck, dude. Ow, stop throwing your rocks at me. All right, well, let's just go up here because I saw something up here. Oh, it was an eagle. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like some secret thing. This is what... Uh, Elden Ring and Dark Souls games do to you, by the way. You just assume that the tiny things that you notice are, like, the most important things because so many times they, like, hide the, the keys to victory behind these little things. Ooh, that looks like a little secret shack of shackitude. Ooh, more shacks of shackitude. Very curious indeed. Wait a second. Is that a thingy? Yes, it is. I can level up my fangs. The spirit thingy majig ash spirit ash hey could you not thank you i know that i really didn't need to do that much damage to him but i never trust them i don't trust those boys they're always so rude did i check out this area did i check this this big building up out up out out up stop throwing rocks at me dude yeah there's a pot man is he gonna be is he going to hold? Oh, I think he just is a regular guy because he, he didn't have the glowies. The pot man that have the glowies are the ones that you can come after and get stuff from. Buddy, don't. Seek up. Up. Oh, is this where you get up? No way. That's sneaky McGee. Sorry, I landed on top of you. Thank you. <coughs> Pardon. Let's see if I can get up here. I don't really think it's worthwhile to get up here, but let's see. No, it's totally not worthwhile to get up here. It's worthless. I don't really think there's much up there anyways. Right? Maybe there's something. Oh, there is something. Hold the phone! I might actually have to get up here. Is there... Ooh, okay. Is this the path? Is this the path? That's looking a little bit more pathy. Is it this? No. Oh. No, what is the path? There's gotta be a path up here. Right? Oh. 
not quite enough horse. It says that this is the way up, so maybe this is the way. Ooh, can I get up this little jumpy right up here? That is a question. Up this little thing. Up this little thing. Oh, oh, I think I might be able to make it up there. Hold on. I think this might be the sneaky path. Oh, horse. Why is it that the moment you get one little inch of movement, it's like 5,000 feet? All right. Turn, torrent. Oh, we made it up. Heck yeah, brother. Pardon. Don't do it. <sighs> Time for horse, then try jumping. Oh, is it sketchy? Oh, not sketchy. Oh, there's a side of grace right there. I need to get that. But first... Oh, look at that little place, like, built into the wall. That's cool, dude. Can I get... Oh, shoot, it's this guy. Oh, he trucks. Don't do it. Oh, he did it. Let's see if we can use the environment to our advantage. Oh, no, he's just using it to his advantage. Missed him. Oh, he be wildin' and stylin' limousine riding. Thanks, buddy. Okay, he stumbled. Oh, shoot. Dude. Hold on, pardon. I don't have any heals. Pardon? Let me not get stuck. <laughs> okay. I gotta get back up there to deal with this horn boy. Ugh. Oh, what a rude dude. Alright, I'll bet right back there. Oh, steak! Heck yeah. Ugh, I need to get up there to get those runes, because I think I had about 250,000 runes. Which is not anything to shake a stick at. And this boy's gonna come around the corner like, Hey, baby. What you doing, huh? <laughs> We run in, we hit him with some sauce, we dip. And we hit him with a little bonus sauce, and we dip again. And we hit him with uh, some sauce, and we dip. He didn't like the marinara sauce, I was throwing at him. No! Okay. Pardon? Don't do it. Don't. I'm running. I'm just going to get my runes. I don't want to lose a level for the sake of this boy. Are you down at the bottom of the stairs waiting for me? Oh, he just poured it in. <laughs> oh, I was just trying to come downstairs and show you my beautiful prom dress, bud. <laughs> and you're just shoulder checking me. And thank you. Got you, horn boy. Those guys are hard. Harder than the bear that I just fought. Ooh. <laughs> this is gonna tell me... Yeah, I'm not going down there. That's a problem. Ugh. Yeah, red bear. Piece of cake compared to the horn boy. Horn boy is way harder. I'm sure he probably doesn't appreciate me calling him horn boy, but that's what he is. Alright, so... Mm. Ooh. What's in here? I would bet another, um... Seal? Two-handed sword talisman. <gasps> Let's check out the talisman. Sorry, I called the talisman a seal. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see. Where is it? There it is. Attacks with two-handed weapons. Meh. Sorry. If you got a two-handed weapons, then great. I don't have one. How can I get over to that thing in the in the wall? This. How does one get up there? Can I take... Is there secret paths? I want to get in there. I really want to get in there. We'll have to figure it out. But for now, I'm going to set a marker over here so I can explore that area because I haven't gone over there. And I'm very curious. Ooh, what are you telling me? Try Spirit Spring. Well, there's no Spirit Spring. Is there one over there? Seek North. Wow, that is the most helpful thing I've ever seen. I love that. Hold on. Yeah. I'm going there. Brother, thank you so much. I don't like, I don't usually rank messages because, uh, I don't know, I'm a stingy, stingy boy. But that one was great. Try North. Brother, I will try North. Thank you so much for your clutch information, my dude. Oh. <laughs> He's like, how, how dare you come onto my bridge? Ooh, skidoo fraggles? Dang, dude, that was clutch. That was really nice. And he, he, this guy even dropped some not resin. Oh, thanks, bud. Really appreciate that. Ooh, can I get in here? Can I just fall in here? Is this the area that was hard to get to before? That I had to, uh, I had struggles? I don't know. Let's go in here. Hey, bud. Hey. Oh, I don't think it was. I think I, oh, a dog. A ghost dog. 
<laughs> Another ghost dog? Nope, just a man. There's a ghost dog. He's spooky scary. Beast blood. Okay. I don't appreciate the fact that you have references to my favorite Chromsoft game in here. I love, love um, Bloodborne. I think it's one of the best games ever made. And if you don't agree, that's fine. But if you're going to watch my channel for long enough, you're going to see me play it. So get ready for that because, good lord, I love that game so much. I'm going to play all the FromSoft games eventually. I love Sekiro and, and uh, Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3. Oh, I love them all so much. Speaking north. Spirit Rune or Spirit Spring to the north. I'm looking. North. I'm north in it. Is there one? I swear, if that message turned out to be a lie, and I'm just north in it for no reason, I will be crossed. What are those? Oh, my lantis? Hold on. I want to kind of check around this, this base here real quick before I go do that, because I feel like I really... there If there is going to be... Oh, this is the thing I got. Oh, sweet. If there is going to be a spirit spring, I bet it's going to be nearby. And I just want to check and make sure. Otherwise, I'll go to the north and I'll check out that area because I haven't gone there yet. So we'll do that. But because I was up there. Temple Town. Temple Town. Yeah, I'm assuming that it is to the north. All right, fine. We checked it out, dude. That's how I am with these games. I feel like you've got to check out, be like pretty thorough in FromSoft games. Like you've seen me sit there and read information a lot and like especially like go through item descriptions which in most games would be a complete and total waste of time right like why would you ever read an item description but that's where you get the information for these games like just to be real that's where you get all of the information for FromSoft games they give you so much detail in those item descriptions hello it's the shrimpy boys oh please don't shrimpy boys oh shrimpies jeez these shrimps went buck wild don't oh he's, he's got the shrimps he's got the shrimp attack all right cool one shrimp. Ooh. Shrimpin'. Big shrimpin'. Shrimpin' ain't easy, brother. <laughs> oh, shrimp. Those guys are kind of obnoxious with how fast they are. Oh. All right, I'm going to keep looking around over here. Ooh, little tiny bumpage. I do love a nice item. I really want to check around the base. Oh, spirit. There it is. Spirit thingy. Spirit! Ooh. Why, why, why did I fall over there? <laughs> it was like, you see that thing that looks cool? Yeah, dodge that. Alright, cool. We're over here. What is going on here? Is there any... Ooh, chest. Chest of justice. Beast horn. Uh. But seek up. <gasps> Ooh, I will seek up. Please, please, let me just walk this with myself and not Torrent. Thank you. Torrent handles like a dang truck. What's this? Smithing Stone 7s? Are you flipping my flaps right now? Whee! Okay. Is this going to be summoning ahead? Summoning? Is there a boss up here? <gasps> yes. I am very excited about the boss action. Potential boss action? Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> is this the place? Dude, I found a place in the in the cliff. That's so cool. Cliff place. I, I wonder if there's anything good up here. What's in the cliff? Divine Bird Warrior Ornus. Ooh, that's pretty cool, man. Birdman. <laughs> it has been a difficult mating season for bird person. <laughs> you get that reference. Love you, because that's a great show, man. Uh, okay, and can I just jump down? I won't die, right? I won't die, right? I'm not going to die, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Whoops. All right. I wonder if my, my runes are down at the bottom, or if I've got to go all the way back up to the top of that thing. If it is the, that's the case, then it's really not a problem. I can just go up there real quick. But I'd love it if I didn't have to. 
love it if you just gave me my runes right here. Oh, you're gonna make me go all the way back up. <gasps> Rude. That's fine. Don't fall. Thank you. Oh, I'm not. I refuse to ride Torrent on sketchy things because man, does that boy have a mind of his own. I do appreciate the fact that like that is a horse mechanic in some games. Like when you're playing Red Dead, um, your horse just like decides to horse. Like it is, it is gonna horse. Horse is gonna horse, man. Um, is there a way down from here that's safe? That's the question. I saw a bunch of messages over here. Is there a safe way down? <laughs> hmm, I don't think so. I don't think so. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna warp down here and I'll be there. <laughs> Alright, cool. I think I've got a level in me real quick. I kind of feel like I should put it in stamina, because I am still running out of stammies. You know, the endurance. Ooh, do I not get any stamina with it? Ooh. Do I care about that, or do I just want to go bigger? Or do I want to go... Because strength doesn't level my stuff up at all. I'll do endurance, because more stamina the merrier. Just the truth of the matter. Alright, so cool. Gone through here. Now we're going to go through this red area. I'm very curious what this little building is. Let's explore. I can go past Shrimpy Boys now, because I have shrimped the shrimp. The shrimps have been shrimped. And once you shrimp, you don't need to re-shrimp, you know? You've already shrimped once. Why shrimp again? Oh, that's probably why you shrimp again. Is that a bird? Bird? Hello, bird. Bird? Bird. Could you, could you stop birding? Jeez, that bird had some... Firm opinions about being a bird. Hello. I see that you're alive, bird. Come back down. Come and bird with me. Whee! Perfect birdage. Oh, there's so many shrimp. Ghost bird? Oh, oh, those are the things that scream. They're ghost birds. I finally found out what they are. I wonder if you can kill them. Because, <laughs> gotta be honest, I kinda hate them. They alert all of the friends nearby. I'm hiding behind your flower. <laughs> Where did he go? Thank you. Don't shrimp. <laughs> I'm going to turn you into gumbo, baby. Am I the only person who thinks he looks like a shrimp? Because I got to tell you, he's very shrimp. <gasps> Second shrimp. It's time for re -shrimpening. Come here, shrimp. God, that shrimp. Oh, I'm going to take that to the face. Trying to heal. He perfectly timed his shrimp attack. Perfect. 4,700 runes is nothing to shake a stick at with when it comes to shrimp. Right? That's a lot of shrimp action. Oh, <laughs> I tried to summon my horse. Who? Which shrimp saw me? This shrimp? I'm gonna turn you into shrimp scampy, baby. Little scamps. Oh, oh, he's he's gonna kill me if I'm not watching out. Or I'm gonna kill him. Perfect. Are all these alive? Who's alive? I I've, I have to tell you, I target near the birds just to see which bird is going to come over and peck at my face. Come on. Come on down. Thank you, bird. They are very defenseless when they do that. Any more birds? Oh, my goodness, bird. Thank you, bird. All right, well, that's it. Purples? Brave bird's black quill armor. I kind of want to put it on just to see what it looks like. I'm going to be entirely honest. Because Gravebird... Dude, I played... I fought against him in the main game, but I didn't... I didn't film it, because... You know, there's nothing really to see. Um, but Gravebird is cool. And he's the only done one who does Black Flame. Um, stone armor with a tinge of green. One, one is... Excuse me. One of a set of armor pieces cast in the image of the Gravebird. Featuring a cape of black deathbird feathers. Ooh, deathbird. It enhances jumping attacks. Gravebirds are ancient golems created to guard the spirit graves built where all manners of death ultimately drift. Can I look at it? <gasps> dude, it's cool. Oh, dude. You have little wingy wings. Mind you, it's absolute terrible. But it's cool. I forgot I had the fat armor. <laughs> and the thin armor. <laughs> I could be super fat boy, but I like this armor more. It is technically a little bit better in certain ways, but I don't want to be a fat man. I want to be a skinny handsome bay. That's the way I am. And plus, dude, I've got two. I've got two little swords. I'm not supposed to be a giant fat man. It's 
scarab ahead down here? Really? <gasps> oh, there is. I see him. Um, I killed myself, didn't I? Oh, I didn't. I'm sure that I did. Can I sneak up on this scarab, or do I have to... Or does he just, like, chill? He over here? I thought I saw him. Right? Was I tripping? Where was he? Is he right up here? What is wrong with me? How did I lose the scarab? Sorry, the scarabs are the things that hold that push the little like silver balls, and uh, you get stuff from them. I hear him. Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, I thought I saw something. That's death rod in there. Perfect. What are you gonna give me? The poison flower blooms twice. <laughs> what a weird like haiku of an act. Got that shrimp. No time. No time flat, babe. Love getting the shrimps quick. What are you? Just a shrimp up there? Oh my gosh, look at those shrimps guarding the area. They're such little jerks. <gasps> horn man. All right, horn man. I'm going to see if I can land a little bonus action on you before you actually do any damage to me. Because you will. Oh, he's got two. Ooh, yeah. Love that. Oh. Wow. You think that the ones with two swords would be harder to beat than the ones with one sword? Can tell you, not the case. That one with the one sword really kicked my butt that one time. Ooh, and a grace? Oh, Elden Ring, you spoil me with riches. Probably because there's something horrific in this lake up ahead, isn't it? <laughs> uh, here's my only qualm, right? And take with it what you will. You come up to these areas that are like these big expanses, and you know it's probably going to be one of three enemies. It's going to be a dragon, it's going to be a crab, or it's going to be a bear. I wish there was a little bit more diversity in what they throw at you. Because in the main game, sometimes you find things like tibia mariners and stuff like that. But it seems like, and, oh, look at that, it's a bear. Just like I said it, man. I wish there was a little more diversity to the DLC. Like, there's definitely certain areas that are like more enemy based. Like, certain enemies are more prominently placed, but like... Like, it's just these guys over and over again. Which is fine. This is a hard bear, by the way. This bear is not messing around. Um, but I just wish that it was a little bit more diverse in enemies, you know? He's running. He's running. Because <laughs> their, their attack patterns are the same as the main game. So it's like, rune bears, they are difficult. Don't get me wrong. I say as I'm completely talking through this fight and not making it too difficult, because he is very difficult, I'm sure. Um, but I'm fast. Having a fast build against rune bears is so generous. When you're slow against rune bears, they just punish you. Horn strewn excrement. So he's eating the horn scent? Is that what I'm meant to believe? It's in crafting. Horn strewn, strewn excrement. Is that found underfoot in place? Okay. Um, it is said that the deadliest of the horned predators enjoy the sport of hunting and devouring other horned creatures. That's terrible. And there's another one. <laughs> Let's see where we are. Okay, so that's... This area over here is like a forest. I'm gonna go explore this real quick and just clear out this little area. Because I feel like... I don't think that it's gonna be... Oh my lord, what on earth are these? I was gonna say, I don't think that's gonna be progress, but then I see... Oh my god, is that a winged scorpion? Oh, he's disgusting. Come here. Don't run from me, scorpion boy. Oh, I was too far away from him. Come here. Do they fall? They do fall. That is the nice part about the DLC, is like, the winged things, sure they're there, but they knock over really fast. Also, can I just attack him from the ground? That's ridiculous. You'd think that he'd be smart and just not get in my melee room. Scorpion liver. You know, story checks out. That's what I expect to get from him. So... I like that I'm sitting here butchering the scorpion for a couple minutes before I take off. Sorry, I missed you. Ooh. Ooh. Whee! Gotcha. You're gross. You're very gross. Sweet. He gives me the reds. I think I've mentioned it multiple times, but when that red, like, cloud comes following me, that means it refills my flask. Um, not all the way. It gives you, like, one or two extra, which is nice. Hmm, do I go down the chasm, or do I go into the misty woods? Ooh, wait a second. That means that there's a dungeon down here. I just saw a little statue, a dungeon statue. 
don't really know if I want to do the dungeon because... Oh, wait a second. Coffins. Coffins. Coffins in the main game. Uh, yeah, underground tomb. Do I really want to do an underground tomb? I mean, I'll go in and I'll get the, um, the grace because I feel like that's kind of clutch. Um... I do. Oh, there's a militiaman. What are? Can someone explain to me the lore behind why the militiamen are guarding all this stuff? Because they're they're not. They don't make sense as guardians. Okay, I need to not kill myself. There's a bunch of them. Hee hee hee. Gotcha. Um, because they're just like little jerks, aren't they? They're little like soldiers. And they just seem to be like around. Oh, Shadow Militiaman's helm. That's hilarious. You get his little hat. I gotta put it on so I can see what I look like. Because it's adorable, I bet. I'm sure it's also... There he is. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just a friendly skeleton. I love it. The armor in the DLC... Oh, let's, let's wear this too for a second. Oh, wow. You really can see my quacky face. Quack. Um, the armor in the DLC has been hilarious. I, this, this Helm of Solitude is the only good armor... Like, viable armor I've gotten in the DLC. This one is fine, but you... It's huge! It's humongous! Like, why are you giving us such ridiculousness in the DLC? What are you gonna say? Stop, avert your gaze from me! I beg to look away! Okay. I, I will. Fine. I don't... I didn't mean to talk to you again. Do I want to go down here? Uh, I'm gonna look. Because if it's really cool looking, I will. But if it's not cool looking, Scorpion River Catacombs? Oh no. I'm not doing this one. I can guarantee you it's one of those like labyrinthian ones where you've got to go flying around and oh look out. It's all the same, but it's different, but it's the same. No. I'm not doing it. <sighs> Am I really not doing it? No, I'm not doing it. Oh, but it could lead me out here. Okay, dang it, I'm doing it. So yeah, basically that dungeon was not worthwhile. All I got, you get an axe out of it, so if you are an axe user and you really want a new axe, um, the axe is fine. I wouldn't say it's anything that great. I'll show it to you right now. Um, but the one thing that you do get out of there, which is actually pretty good, is a... I'll show it to you in just a second, but this axe right here. Um, it's cool because you can teleport with it, so you can move really fast, which is awesome. But probably the coolest thing that you can get in here is that, um, you can get the Cerulean Amber Medallion plus three. So, if you're looking for an extra FP boost, or if you're looking for a new axe, that's exactly where to find it. But for right now, I would say that that was not a worthwhile endeavor for me, personally. Um, especially since I can't use different... What are you? You're a different hog. Let me kill this hog. Is there anything good from hog? Nope. Just a different looking hog. Um, yeah, the... I have to say, the dungeons that they've put together, although they are fun, I would like to state that, they are fun. <gasps> For your potentate's cookbook, hey, what do you give me? Although the, the dungeons are fun, they're kind of like lackluster in the rewards, I would say. Like, there's not really much... To, to go after there. Like, it just kind of feels like me. Uh, hefty fetid pot. Very nice. Thank you, potentate. Um, but yeah, they just kind of feel like they give you a reward that's like, maybe you want it, maybe you don't. But I haven't found any, like, unanimously good dungeons, really. And I have taken the time to go through the dungeons, so... I don't know, if you guys have found a DLC dungeon that you're like, dude, this is the must-do dungeon because it's going to give you this item, which is, like, completely game-breaking, then let me know. But otherwise, meh. I think it's kind of like, eh. Was this a... Is this a boss in here? <gasps> Ooh, double drag... Double bears. Can I just wake you up and not your friend? Hey. Is there... I heard a roar. Is there a third one? Come at me. Oh, he did come at me. I didn't mean that hard. Me. All right, I just got to keep him away from his bear friend. That's my objective. Keep your eyes out, brother. Come on over. Thank you. Oh, he snailed me. Yeah, once you heal around the great rune bears, that's when I feel like they punish you. Um, so if you can avoid healing... <laughs> I know, easier said than done, right? It's like the same with every boss. 
You don't have to heal, you do great. How did I get hit with that? I feel like his hitbox is broken. Don't throw me by your friend, please. Thank you. Let me heal right underneath your little gooch. And yeah, the closer you can get to the Loom Bears, the better your life is, dude. Because they have their hitboxes are way far away from you. Which is hilarious. They're like way far away from their bodies. Okay, one gun. What'd you give me? What'd you give me? Anything? Nothing? Okay, well. Oh, there it is. There's the item. Uh, hefty beast bow. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Leather headband, glory attire, leather wrap, and leather leg wraps. Wow. So I just found like a hippie in the woods. <laughs> Poor hippie. Uh, you know what I mean? You got eaten by bears. That's what happens, brother. When you when you come up to bears. Oh, I'm coming up on this bear. I wonder how many people ran into this area and were like just getting bared attacked. Ooh. Thank you, bear. Oh, he, this one's a grumpy bear. Oh my lord, he's an insane bear. Let's heal. Yeah, I'm going to take that to the face. I deserved it. Thank you, bear. One more heal. Oh, this guy does bleed. This is a bleed bear. A bleed bear. I don't like it. Thank you. Let's give him a little blood. See if he likes it. He didn't like it. We're getting right underneath him. Ooh, double bear. Oh, he his lunge is so rude. And let's take him out. I don't need to heal again. Oh, famous last words. Ooh, they weren't famous last words. Just some famous words, dude. You give me anything good? Nope. Just poop. <laughs> Just some poop. I wonder what's in these guys. Anything good? Pillage, lump of flesh, and beast blood, and throwing daggers. Wow, that wasn't worth killing those bears at all. Once again, the rewards in the DLC. Meh. It's a big meh for me, dude. It's gonna be a meh for me, bruh. Like, I feel like you gotta give us something a little bit more. And I understand that I am off the beaten path, right? Like, this is... This is very much a direction that I don't think I'm supposed to be spending a lot of time. But then why put the space in the in the game? I'm not going to mess with any more of these bears. They're really not worth my time. Like, they're not giving any rewards. Why mess with them? What's up on this little ridge of ridges? The ridges? Anything good? Hmm? Just poop. Big pile of poop. That's all this is. Big pile of bear poop. Is there anything over here? Can I explore? Nope. Nope. All right, well, I think that clears this area off the map. Oh, no. Cool. So we're going this way now. Um, we're going through the woods. Um, I also have those runes. I don't have any runes. I got killed in that boss encounter, and that was my fault. So here we are. We're living with that decision, and yeah, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Ooh, I wonder if I, how can I get up this thing? This little area. This area shmaria. Because that's leading me back over here. How do I get up there? Ooh. Can I get up here and then go around there? But there's got to be a... There's a spring, right? Also, how do I get here? Hold on. I'm getting distracted. How do I get up there? Oh, perfect. I can rest here. Ugh. I feel like right now, I, all I'm doing is exploring, <laughs> and I'm getting massively distracted. There's another um, area that I think could be profitable, like as far as like new direction goes. But I'm very curious. Oh, there's just scorpion boys over here. They're unflying scorpies. Hey, scorpies. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Um, okay, because I did. That's the flying ones. Okay, gotcha. Unflying one. I'm really not. I'm not that into you. I'm just gonna do one more once over of this little area to see if there's any uppies on the cliff. Because if there's a way up, then I feel like that's gonna be like the next step of like progress. If not, then I'm out of here, dude. I think I've spent enough time futzing around the corners, you know? Okay, yeah. This is just back to the uh, dungeon. And there's nothing up here. Right? Nothing. All right, cool. Then I think I can check this area off my list. There's one other little, like, 
chasm that I didn't explore that I think could be beneficial. And then there's another area way back earlier in the game that I haven't explored either. That I think could be not in the beginning of the game, beginning of the DLC, sorry. Um, that I think could be the way forward, but I'm not sure. So let me clear out these guys and I'm going to warp there. Um, because I need to start making some progress. I feel like I've, I've been recording for like an hour. And all I've been doing is exploring. Not to say that there's anything wrong with that, dude. Like, Elden Ring is... I, I'm trying to play, take my time with this DLC. And that's the side effect of me not looking things up. You know, it's like... Not everything is going to be progress, progress, progress. Ooh, sweet. Um, but that's it. That's all right, you know. So this chasm here. Ooh. Ancient... Okay, so I did that, right? There's a chasm right here. I think... Is that it? The one that I was looking at? Is it just to there? Let's take a look. We're gonna go here, Temple Town, and we're gonna go see if we can find something. All right. Ooh. So, I know the way down now. <laughs> and it's gonna take a second for me to get down there, as you can see by the fact that I might have already died there. Um, but a long, 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 long time ago in the DLC, I'm talking like episode one, I was exploring the Fly Town, right? That area that had all like the um, the fly dudes in it, and I found across the valley there was a little bit of a a, uh, a way down. That there was like these um, there were all these what's it called uh, gravestones on the side of the the, the cliff. Can, can I please get you? Oh my lord, he's so fake. Oh my lord, I just don't want him like bother me the whole way down. Thank you. I, I didn't even hit him. Alright, fine. Dude, come with me. I don't care. If you want to harass me, you can harass me. But I saw the gravestones all the way down from over there. Fly Village. That's Fly Village, dude. Um, and yeah, we're finally gonna go down these graves. Oh my gosh, that was a dragonfly that fell. <laughs> it completely forgot that it could jump or could fly and just fell. Love that. Oh, oh my lord. Getchy! I'm not taking Torrent because Torrent is such a spaz, dude, that he will fall. And, like, he'll just twist at the, a moment's notice and just decide that you're done flying in a certain direction. Even though he has a double jump, I feel like this is easier without Torrent right now. That was the Dragonfly that I was just messing with trying to kill. He ended up killing himself. Thank you, Dragonfly. Dude, we're getting down into the depths. Oh, no. Oh, my lord. I almost, I almost ended my life right there. The depths. There's a big crave. I like that they greet you with a large crave. Oh my gosh, I made it down, dude. I made it down. Second try. <laughs> First try was horrible. I just fell. Torrent was, was messing with me. Something incredible ahead. <gasps> no, don't make me kill these boys. Don't do it. I don't want to kill them. I'm not gonna... I'm not allowing it. Look at them. Oh, they're gross. A big tortoise. Old, old tortoise. Two-headed turtle talisman? <gasps> no. I'm using the turtle talisman right now. If it's upgraded turtle, I'm gonna lose my dang marbles. Hold on. Hold the phone. Right now, it raises stamina, stamina recovery speed. <gasps> it's upgraded. Dude. I'm so excited. Stamina is very important for me with this build, just to be honest. Um, so I use it because I need it. Hi, Crab. Can I fat you? Oh, I didn't realize you were going to attack me so aggressively. Oh, he's going to horf at me. Oh, he's horf. Man, the crabs really lost their mojo, dude. They used to be so scary. I bet that this the game expects you to get down to this area way before I got to it, by the way. I'm assuming so much. <gasps> Ooh, I kind of want to go over here first. Let's go to two and explore that because that seems like it's a problem area. Is it, if it's a big drop off, obviously, I won't be able to go down there. But I kind of want to see because that looks like a giant, like, encounter zone. Does it not? Am I tripping? Oh, it's just a big precipice. She's a precipice. Is there anything down there? I swear, if there's another level... Okay, there's not. Thank God, by the way. There's a pot right there. What is this pot doing? Why, why is there a pot? Oh my gosh. What is that? Hold on. Why is there a pot? Item? Hold on. 
Missed it, my lord. Got it. What is in there? Mushroom Cellar's Bell Berry. Oh, you know. I'm going to be checking out what that is. Also, it doesn't count that I used a different weapon because I didn't kill anyone with a different weapon, okay? So don't trash talk me you're like that I've, I've changed anything, okay? I haven't. I'm the same man as I always was. <laughs> I'm using the dang starter weapons, okay? All right, so that's cool to know that there's that. I'm going to have to check out Firelink Shrine in a bit to... Firelink Shrine! Oh my gosh, I apologize. I'm going to have to check out the round table. Hold to see what the heck is going on with that. What is this? Round rock. <laughs> it is rock. Uh, yeah, I'll have to check out round table hold because I feel like that is really in, in, like important. That is horrific. Look at those bones and those bodies. Are these flies? <gasps> they are flies. Are we going to find out what happened to the fly people? I would love to find out what happened. That would be such a nice little piece of lore to give me. What is, what is, what am, what am I being poisoned by? Oh, that's what I'm being poisoned by. Thanks, bud. Appreciate you. Hold on, let me uh, get rid of my poison real quick. Um, yeah, there we go. I'm tired of poison. I've got plenty of health to heal through it, but I really don't want to. If I'm being honest. There's more flies. I kind of want to avoid them, because I feel like I'm just going to sit here and just get bogged down in flies. Kind of not worth it. Is there anything important? Hmm. Well, I said I was going to kill the flies. But here I am. I don't like to run by a bunch of mobs if I don't know where I'm going. I am who I am. All right. Know yourself, bud. Stay true to it. <laughs> it's really important. The real. I know I say it in a joking way, but it's super important to know who you are and like the way that you live your life. Because you can just stop fighting against yourself, man. I feel like fighting against yourself is half the battle in life. Because we just fight against who we are and like, I don't know, there's obviously, it's important to improve upon yourself, right? Like to see your faults and internalize them and, and you know, do the work on yourself to make yourself as good as you possibly can be. But like, you know, it's okay to know who you are and just to build on that. Healthy. So yeah, man, we don't have to be perfect. Just better. <laughs> Is this a secret? Is this secret tunnel? A hold turn back. Oh, there is a secret tunnel. Oh, no, it's not a secret tunnel. It's just where I came from. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, that's fine then, guys. I'm really curious where this leads to. Because it leads down here. I wonder if there's anything good over here. I kind of get the feeling like I'm walking to a dead end. Like, am I just tripping about that? Or is this a dead end? There's definitely Fury Rats, or whatever they're called. The Madness Rats. Those are there. Don't know what they're doing down here in the Pit of, of Peril. Ooh, wait a second. Maybe it isn't a dead end. Maybe there is a path down here. Oh, oh. Oh, no. We've got to move along this thing. All right, Torrent. Be kind to me. Oh, I'm going to get it. I don't regret my life decisions. Potentate Cookbook 12. Hold on, let's check out what's in that Potentate Cookbook 12. Just because I feel like it's kind of nice to know what you got. Hold on. And... 10 and 12. A uh, hefty rock pot. Dude. <laughs> what a what a name of a band. Hefty rock pot! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. This is not a dead end. Are you a bird? Birdman? Could you come? Thank you, Birdman. Are you also alive? No. Wow, did he just give me health? Just the one bird? A generous bird. These birds are very generous. Who's gonna- Oh, look at you! Hello, friend! I love that you used that death fire. Pretty sweet. There's another one. Come, come hither. Tiny bird man. Any more? No. Generous bird man. Alright, smithing stone fours. Wow. Can you imagine smithing stone fours? I know everyone needs them so badly. <laughs> Clamoring over the DLC to get smithing stone fours. That looks like a secret. Hold on. Let me peek. Let me be a peeking duck. 
looks a little secret, doesn't it? But I'm so far from home, and I think I'm about to get to this awesome area. Mm. I'm not going down there. I'm going to the new area. I want to go to the new zone. Ooh, you gotta ride your horse down here again, brother? Man, you're making me really put a lot of trust in the torrent, and I don't trust him one bit. Can I not do this? Oh, I cannot do it. Perfect. Man, this area... I think this leads to the new area. The one where I saw the dragon stuff before. <gasps> Away. Am I gonna get close to... I wonder if I'm gonna get to the giant mountain thing. That that guy was talking about where there's like giant enemy. Because that would be my dream. I want to fight something big. <sighs> I have so many runes. I need to use them. I've been so dang stingy. I'm not going to be stingy anymore. I don't need any more levels. Really. But. I'm going to level up a little. Why not? You know? Um, let's see. Does it. Oh, it still doesn't give me any. Okay, so Vigor is the way to go. We'll do some Vigs. What do you tell me, Ghost? Ghostman! What say you? What say you, Ghostman? I was once told a coffin could convey its passengers upon a gentle cruise. In the velvet garden of deepest purple. Oh, to slumber in such a paradise. Oh, friend. The velvety coffin to a, or velvety purple. It sounds like a problem. Okay, I can go down here. Excuse me, I can get down here. Ooh. I'm going to ride Torrent. Against my greater judgment, I am going to ride Torrent, because he is nice with his double jumping. He is a very nice with his double jumping, but I'm pretty sure that this is leading me down to that whole area that I saw before that I could not get access to. Hold your horses. I mean my physical horses. Ooh, there's another pot over there. Look at that. Hold on. Let's go. Let's pop this pot. I think that these are secrets. By the way, these little pots. I've got two pots in like five seconds. Let's get an arrow, bow and arrow out. Hold on. Any bow will do. There we go. Ooh, I'm gonna go get that. You know, I never use bows. I feel like it's fun. I, I learn bows now. Me learn bow. <laughs> me learn bow so me get pot. That looks kind of... Is that far? Is that an optical illusion? Okay, it wasn't... It was farther than I'd like it to be. Mushroom Cellar's Bell Bearing 2. Oh, so th those things are all Mushroom Cellar things. I am so curious. I'm going to take them to Round Table Hold in just a bit. I kind of am, like, very curious, to be entirely honest, because I feel like... I kind of feel like they're just going to be trash mushrooms. And if I'm wrong, great, but I doubt that I'm wrong. Um, but I'm very curious what they what they give me. Because that's, like, such a deep secret these random pots hidden along the wall to just be like, oh, well, they're nothing. <laughs> like, come on, Elden Ring. I think if, you, if you're going to make us work that hard just to find pots hidden around the area, oh, these guys again, shoot them, and then you're going to expect us to just get nothing in return? I think that's shape. But we'll see. Ooh. I didn't, I didn't build any pots, by the way. Oh, oh lord. Oh lord, he coming. I healed through it. That was a clutch heal. My gosh, bro. Did you have to do it? I'm bringing in... Oh, I don't... I can't summon here. Woo! That's okay. Staggy one. He got one stagger. Wow, he staggered quick. Hold on. I gotta get out of this way. Yeah, that's an explosion. What? I was totally fine. That's rude. Come on. Give me the staggies. Oh, Lord have mercy. He came in hot and heavy, that black. Okay, there's a staggy. One more. Oh, ooh. He's doing the jump. Roll away. How, did I, how are you supposed to dodge that? Oh, is it a jump? Oh, he's kicking. Oh, he's kicking. All right, cool. Let's get one more stagger and he'll fall. Oh, whoa! I've never seen this one. Is he gonna dump me in there? What What happens to me? I thought it was an insta-death. Nope, that's really cool. I love that. 
I mean, I don't love that it happened to me, but I love the way that it looked. <laughs> Jeez, buddy, could you not? Let me get one more stagger on you. Oh, this is a problem. Ow. Ow. I had to take that one to the face. Can I please get a stagger on you? Jeez. I might have to leave this boy alone and go get some pots. I could just build pots. That's the funny thing. I could just go build them. Okay. 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 Am I on the right side? Let's hit him with a couple of these. And then let's hit him with some pots. Okay. Let's go back in. Start nailing this leg. Ooh. Okay. One staggy. Don't run to the other one. Just walk. Get your stamina back. <laughs> oh, shoot. This is not good. Yep, that'll do it. Okay, cool. We're back. Oh, I jumped too early. Oh, wow, I had enough I jumped so early that I had enough time to jump again. I love that. Ooh, did I stag him? Okay, perfect. Move to this one. Hit him with a bunch. It seems like that's the technique, by the way. Oh, yeah, so you roll and then jump. Wow, that's insanity, by the way. <laughs> oh, I'm going back in. <laughs> I do love that this is an animation that they have in the game. I don't love that it hurts me so much, but I do love that that's an animation. Can I heal through this? Yeah, I needed to. Okay, and dodge. Sweet! Give me a toots. Dagger. Is that third? That's third. Perfect. Can you fall in this way? Nice! Alright, this should do it. I wonder if he's going to give me a cracked pot. I would love it if he gave me one of the big pots. Um, and then... Ooh, thank you. Uh, let's see. Viridian Hidden Tear and Furnace Visage. Hold on. The Tears. Let's check. What's the Viridian Hidden Tear do? The Tears I have... are they? They're in key items, right? Viridian Hidden Tear. Cerulean Hidden Tier eliminates all FP consumption. That's cool. And then eliminates all stamina consumption. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Oh, I really wish that I knew where to go to get the um, map for this area. But I have no clue. I'm going to have to find it. Okay, cool. Is that a path? Is this a path? Ooh. Looking a little pathy. But also, that area back there is also looking a little like something I need to do. <gasps> Those are looking so sharp. Ooh. I don't want to go that way. Let's look through this passage real quick and see if there's like a... If there's a, um... What's it called? A little resting place right there, then I'm totally going to hit that resting place. If not, then I'll double back. What are you telling me? Message. Blue. Blue. Cerulean. Message. Gorgeous view. I'd love a gorgeous view. Give me the gorgeous view. Ooh. Ooh, Cerulean Coast. Cool. All right, so this is a different area entirely. That's awesome. I love that. Ooh. I really wish that it could tell me where I need to get the map. But I don't know where to get the map. Mm. All right, we're going we're gonna to go this way. For now, and just remember that there's an area back there to double back to. To be fair, it's probably just exploration, and I love me some exploration. But for right now, I'm just going to keep on chugging this way, see if I can find the map. Because I can almost guarantee you the map is down this way. I say almost guarantee because I really can't guarantee you anything. <laughs> but I'm hoping the map is this way. Cool tree! I wonder if there's something interesting under the tree. I feel like there's always got to be something interesting under the tree. Oh, Lord! There's a dragon! Hello! Ghost Wing Dragon, I love him. We fought one earlier. Heck yeah. Come on, buddy. Are you gonna... Woo! Let's see, here's... Uh, like I said earlier, it's such a bummer that we get these kind of like... Yeah, they're not copy-paste, right? Like, the game is expecting people to not be insane, like us and to do every single thing that there is to do in the game because it wants you to have a, an experience, like a streamlined experience that is just like, you know, you play what you play. So it's not like most people aren't going to fight these guys, every single one of them, because why would you, you know? Because <laughs> you're not us. Oh, tail? No? Oh, he's getting grumpy. 
Oh, he's, he's dwarfing. Ooh, that borf is a lot of borf. Sorry, sometimes if you stay down with the dragon instead of getting up, he doesn't hurt you so much. Which is very nice. Oh, and done. Perfect. Well, who is he hitting? Oh, these guys. Oh, shoot. I gotta get up to his head. We made it. Probably should have hit him with a couple cheap shots, but I was just nervous. Jeez, there's so many of these boys. Oh, th thank you, dragon. Can you kill the rest of them? Thank you. He did kill some of them. Oh, but he's killing me, too. Oh, this is not great. That's not what I wanted. Right in my face. Alright, dragon. I'm gonna deal with you, and then I'll deal with your friends. Oh, he's running. Oh, he's running. Get on the horse. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Get on the horse. Oh, where's he going? Where did he go? Is he supposed to just be down here? Yes, he is supposed to be down here. <laughs> Let's heal up. Okay. See if we can get through. Oh my god, I did get through. I'm getting after his little toots. Have some toots. I guarantee you if you hit him in the face, it's going to hurt him a lot more. Oh, yeah. See if we can hit him one more time in the face. We missed his face. Bad news. Face missed. I'm just going to take him out. Take him out the way that's easiest for the build. Oh, can you not? Jeez. Boys, I'm a little busy with the dragon. Can you not be so ridiculous? Oh my gosh. These guys. Alright, let's see if we can hit him in his face. Real quick. Yeah, buddy! That's so cool. Great enemy field. I wonder if those bone guys are going to die too, or if they just if I accidentally triggered them. Let's see. Dragonheart. Oh, another somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Heck yeah, dude. That is so nice. Oh my gosh, if I could just hit this dang skelly. Cool. So you get a somber every single big dragon you beat. Pretty cool, man. Pretty sweet. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello. I don't think I was supposed to trigger the skeleton. Why is it always dragon? That's my question too, dude. Why is it always dragon? I know that that guy was just shooting at me. I don't care about him. He can shoot to his heart's content. Hi, wormy boys! Oh, I love you. Someone called them gummy worms in my comments the other day, and it's the truth, dude. They're little gummy worms. But the question remains, are they like Doug Trio, and do they have the massive bodies underneath, or are they just tiny guys? And someone said they have little feet. Do they have little feet? Oh, uh, kind of hard to tell. Maybe they do have little feet. <laughs> Either way, they're cute, and I love them. Ugh. Very cool. I wonder what's out there. I wish I could look at the map, but I don't have a map. <laughs> Please give me the map for this area so I can just check it out. Maps are so nice for people who explore games like me. Oh, shoot! Ask and you shall receive? Yes! Southern Shore. Why can I not look at the map? Someone is chasing me. There's clearly an enemy chasing me. Okay, well, I'll check out the map in a second when something stops chasing me, apparently. I've got the music and everything. It must be those little skelly boys. I can't believe the skelly boys are causing problems, though. I'll check out the map and... Oh, there's a cross! America Cross! <gasps> oh, I want to go out there, dude. You know I want to go out there. Hello! Pardon? Pardon. And pardon. I'm gonna go to the America Cross and then I can rest. And I can check out my map. Yes! Dude. All of my dreams are coming true at the same time right now. I'm gonna get a skidoo tree fragment and I get to talk to maybe a friend. No friends? I got a skidoo tree fragment. Nectar Blood Virgin. Is that new? Hold on. Hold your horses. Nectar Blood Virgin. It was so purple. Is that it? No. Nectar blood. There it is. A young shoot heavy with velvet, velvety purple nectar. Ooh, is this for that purple god thingy, Majiggy? The sleep god? Exceedingly rare to find. Send a virgin forth with the nectar like blood of abandoned Trina. Fooled. Okay. Hey, there he is. I finally found him. I shouldn't say I found him. He definitely found me. He tracked me. They're still, they're all tracking me? They tracked me for like a mile and a half. You know, those boys are committed. I can't fault them. 
I abandon here my doubt and vacillation. Vacillation. Interesting, your vacillation. How much vacillating were you doing? <gasps> dragon! Dude, we're down at the dragon body! Hold on. Do I have enough for another Skidoo tree blessing? Let's see. No, oh, hold on, that's not what I want. Skidoo, I don't have enough. Three, I've only got two. Okay, now, but uh, but the thing I can do now, I can check the map. Oh, I love to check the map. That looks like a dead end. And I love me a dead end. So I'll go over there real quick, and then I gotta go to this dragon, dude. <gasps> Wait a second. That looks like the thingy I found. That looks like the area that I got the note from. Hold on, let me see if I can find the note. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not equipment, sorry. I, inventory. I got the note... Is that it? The ruins map? Yes! Yes! That looks just like that, doesn't it? Is that the ruin? It looks like right there is what that is telling me to go to. I think that's telling me to go there. <gasps> oh, I'm so glad I paid attention in math class, dude. <laughs> let's go out to this area right here and then let's go check out that whole spadaggy dig. Because that was telling me there's a bell that I can chime, right? With the thing I got from him. So if I go there and there's a bell, I'm on the money, baby. A hanging bell? Is that what he said it was? Hanging bell. Okay, so I need to find a hanging bell in that area, which I think it should be. <gasps> there's so many of these boys. Hi. No. Oh, there's a big grumpy dude. Pardon me. I'll be running. Oh, hey, hey. No, 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 no. You misunderstand our relationship. We're friends. I don't think I've ever said that to someone in an honest way. You don't understand what- we're friends! <laughs> oh, don't stomp. Don't stomp. Let me get my stamina back so I can kill you. Don't stomp at me. Wow, he does no damage. I don't think I'm supposed to get here this late in the DLC. Am I tripping for that? Because I'm at way too many Skidoo Tree Blessings to, to, for that guy, apparently. He gives you a hefty crackles? I mean, to be fair, he's got a lot of crackpots. He's got a lot of fresh pets. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of pets. Makes sense, but it's kind of crazy that you get such a high level item from that dude. Hello? Grave Glovewort 8. Can I leap over your Grave Glovewort? Ooh, that's the path forward to whatever the heck is oh, down this area. I'm so curious. Oh, like this point, it feels like there's something important down there, right? There's a big pit here. I saw on the map. What are you, pit? Oh, there's a bunch of slimes. I hate slimes. It's just a pit. Wait a second. It's not just a pit. There's a way into the pit. If it's another dungeon, I'm probably not going to do the dungeons because I feel like I've been kind of like spurned by the dungeons. Holy moly, it's not another dungeon. What on earth is this? Can I ask? Oh, sorry, slimes. I didn't mean to disturb your slimy slumber. What the heck, and Annie is going on down here? This is so deep. Ooh, I don't like it. I know. I see you in the bush. You thought you were being a sneaky slime by hiding in the bush, but brother, I can see you in that bush. Brother, I got bad news. I saw you in the bush. Ooh. Oh, there's a grace down here. I need to get to that grace, 100%. That is like the clutchest grace of all time. Do I need to jump? Holy moly. Okay, I don't need to jump. Don't be a fool, Torrent. Torrent. Just be a friend. Just be a friend, Torrent. I bet you it's like the worst thing ever. Deep purple lily? Hold on. I'm going to read that in just a second. Deep purple lily? <gasps> Wait a second. Is this St. Trina's place? Hold on. Deep Purple Lily. If it says anything about St. Trina's, I'm going to lose my dang marbles. Okay? Deep Purple Lily. Show me. A deep purple water lily that is on the verge of wilting. Grows in the blue flower field at the coast. Like a syrupy poison, its nectar lulls its imbiber into sweet, velvety sleep. It talks a lot about sleep, velvety sleep with St. Trina. Is this St. Trina's spot? Is it? This feels important. You don't have the right... Castle required ahead. Ooh. 
This feels kind of important. Whoa. Stone Coffin Fissure? Dude. Okay, this is an important area. This is important. But what I need to do first and foremost, which is awesome. So I'm down here. I wonder if this leads me. No. That leads me to this. I bet that leads me over here. I bet this, that leads me over there. I'm excited about it. I've got to do it. First things first, though, I've got to go back here and I've got to go check this area out because if I can get this checked off, I feel like that's really important for me right now. All right. Let's see. Can I get over there? Hmm. hmm. Let's see how to get over there because I'm pretty sure that is the way that I will. I mean, I want to just get that checked off of my list before I forget about it because I feel like that's kind of an important thing to remember while I've got it in my head. If I can get up there, can I get up there? Let's see. Let's find out if we can get up there. What is glowing ball? Glowing ball? Oh, no. Oh, it's one of those things. Oh, Jesus. Jeez. Thanks, bud. Did all the damage. Ugh. Uh, yeah, so I need to get across here, right? If I can get up there, even better. But I need to get up to that dragon. Is this the tree that I said looked cool? It is the tree that I said looked cool. I wonder if there's anything to get on the tree that I said looked cool. Hmm. Materials? Grave crickets. What a weird thing to get. Okay. Well, I'm going to jump up here and here. Ooh, can I make that jump? I feel like I can. I can! Is there anything at this tree? This tree looks kind of important. Right? What are you? I like how these bodies are just sitting here. St. Trina's Disciples Cookbook. <gasps> Hold on. Uh, is that going to tell me something about St. Trina's? Tell me about St. Trina. Uh, Loyal Knight? No. St. Trina's Disciple. Eternal Sleep Pot. Huh. Record of crafting techniques left by a disciple who pursued the te techniques of the Saint of Sleep. Yeah, what seems what seemed like a gentle sleep has ri first ripened into velvet. Oh, so velvet is clearly. I mean, I see. I understand that Mikola and the sleep stuff. Like that's the way. That's a, that's a, one of the powers that they utilize to get what they want. I understand that. But hmm, interesting. Sleep, the velvety sleep of sleep. Speaking of which, man, a little nap sounds pretty good right now. Oh, another great glove ghost ward. Or great, great grave glove ward. Oh, wait a second. That's a hand. Y'all see in that hand? So there's magic stuff nearby. There's ma there'd be magic. You're a wizard, Barry. Hello. Thank you, hand. Don't do it, hand. Oh, I dodged through that. That's so delicious. Come on. I know you're going to run at me, and I don't like it. Here he comes. Look at that. He runs, and he's so gross. The hands are so gross in this game, by the way. I think they might be the grossest enemies, which is hilarious to think they're just freaking hands. But the way they're like spiders. Spider hands. And I don't mean Spider-Man hands, dude. I just mean gross, nasty hand spiders. I don't like them. Ooh. Path forward? I'm so curious, man. I, I feel like I was supposed to come to this area way earlier than when I got to it. But dude, I have just been I feel like I've been exploring. Oh, that is a hand under the ground, by the way. Don't do it. There's a there's more hands. I don't even want to touch them if I don't have to. Um I feel like I've been doing a lot of the side stuff. Like to be real, I've done a ton of side quests. So for me to not have found it yet, kind of wild. <sighs> but I was so curious about it early game and now I'm like I'm still curious, but I've done so much, and I've, especially since I've already beaten Mesmer, who I know is not like the be-all, end-all boss, but he is a very main boss to this. Um, I, be, I definitely should have come back to him later in the game uh, of the DLC, because I could have probably beaten him without any assistance. Finger Ruins of Rhea. This? They're fingers. What? They're fingers. Hold on, I'm going to put... Oh my god, they're all fingers. I thought those were like stones. I'm going to put that right there. We're going to go there. Because I'm pretty sure in the center what I want. 
pretty sure. Oh my gosh, what are what are these boys? Oh, there's just a million hands. I'm not messing with you hands. Y'all can just enjoy your hand life, dude. I have so many runes, I don't need anything. Don't need anything you got. Oh, what are you? Hold on, I gotta... If there's a new enemy, I've gotta beat it. Wow, that's very weak. How many runes do you give me? 1,600. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to come here earlier. <laughs> pretty sure. Okay, I need to get down there. <gasps> that's like something of interest. Okay, cool. I'm very curious what that is. And I will examine it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Something in my throat. In my throat. Ooh. Anything interesting up here? I don't think so. Wait a second. There is something interesting up here. Can I duplicate? Yes. I'll duplicate the flower. You know what? I haven't even checked out the stuff I got from the... the... I need to go back to... It's not Firelink. I need to go back to the round table hold. Because there's so much I can do there. Let's clear this out, and then I'm going to go back to the round table and check it out. Hi, bud. Hi, bud. I don't care about you. Oh? <laughs> you almost got me. Almost got me, baby. All right. Let's go check it out. Pardon? Torrent. Okay, so just a reminder. If we found... If we find... Oh, my gosh. Those are eyes? Gross. If we find... What are you doing? You casting spells? You big worm? I don't like it. Um, if we find a hanging bell here, we have the thing we need for it. And I don't... It said it was going to give me good luck. <laughs> Which I... I mean, come on. We've all played FromSoft games before. We're not getting any dang good luck. Not that it's going to suddenly be like, Mmm, the, the final boss has half health. Congratulations. Oh, Lord, I'm, I've been frozen. Oh, he, oh, is he gonna come up and, like, slurp me? Oh, he didn't get me in time. He couldn't slurp. Take that, bruh. Woo! Oh, I thought I dodged it. I didn't dodge it. Whoa! They can teleport! Oh, he does slurp. Oh, he's like a giant leech. Okay, well, you know what, buddy? Because of that? Oh, did he slurp me again? Don't kill me, please. Okay, double heal. Oh my lord, could you stop it please? He, he's got so distracted. Alright, I've I've been pussyfooting around too much with these guys. I just need to take him out. But, oh my gosh, he's slurping me. <laughs> okay, could you not, giant worm man? Oh my gosh. Wow, I have it around me still. The animation is broken. I love that. That's so cool. Because he knocked me out of it. Perfect. Wow. Oh my lord. When he wants to do some damage, he does some damage. Alright, this is my boy. Whoa. That was so cool. It went up in the air. Oh my gosh. That one almost had me. Alright. I gotta take out Spellcasty Magasty. Oh my gosh. Okay, cool. So that does break you out of their, their goopy spells. I'm really taking the path that's most traveled by by worms over here. Arden, worm. Could you not, worm? Oh my lord, I took so many worm damages. <sighs> okay, well that gave me three heals back. I see why they're like, oh, dude, summon a mimic. Summon anything. Deal with those gross things. Alright, let's see. Oh, hanging. Hanging. I wouldn't qualify that as a bell. But it kind of looks like the thing I got. <gasps> it is a bell. No. Dude, we are going to do something in the DLC that's actually important, maybe. Let's see. Crimson Seed Talisman plus one. Hold on. Is that all to get... <gasps> oh, it's good, though. Greatly boosts HP restoration from Blast of Crimson Tears. Dude, I have upgraded two of my talismans this episode. That's humongous. All right. I can't believe we got the um, the bell thing to work, dude. That was awesome. I'm so pumped that we actually got that done. Um, there was nothing else around that, so nothing really to see besides the fact that it was just kind of like... I mean, there was like some random like collectible thingies, like some 
random, uh, what's it called, craftable things, but nothing really worthwhile. So, I'm jumping over here. That's fine with me. I'm very curious to see St. Trina's arrows. Ooh. So I think we're getting into the Trina zone. That's my guess. I think we're getting into the Trina zone. <laughs> oh, ooh, look at this. So you know how in the old, I, in, maybe you watch these or not, in the old Scooby-Doo cartoons, there were things that had different textures than the rest of the, of the like, cartoon? Well, guess what? I bet this falls. <laughs> Called it, man. Called it, baby. Oh, pardon me, friend. Um, I wonder... I wonder what these guys are, uh, about. Because they're just kind of gross. Like, what's the story with these big old donkey dudes? I'm sure that there's a story to them. Woo! Gotcha. Ooh. And, uh, yeah, pardon me for running through everything all patiently. I know that people probably don't like it, but I like to carve my way through stuff as I go, so... Sorry! But, you know, it just makes sense to do it. Rune 3. <gasps> Across? Down here? Oh shoot! Is that gonna give me another skadoo, Fraggy? Because that's gonna give let me get a new blessing. First of all, let's go talk to Ghosty my ghost. What you gotta say? What you gotta say, bud? You're sitting amongst a bunch of bones, you okay? Oof. Kindly Mikola, I see you've thrown away something you should not have under any circumstances. How will you salvation offer to those who cannot be saved? When you cannot, who could not even save your other self. Oh. Oh. Your other self. Is this about your partner? They're, they're like consort or friend? What did, what did he throw away? My love. Oh, that's so sad. Also, such a heartfelt sentiment from Elden Ring. Don't throw away your love? That's so cute. Elden Ring. Why are you so cute? Yes. Skadoo Tree 12. And so that's not even the highest. I wonder what the highest is. I didn't look up how high it goes, but I saw that it went past 10, and I was like, oh, past 10, you say? Hmm. Oh, there's birds. Look at this bird right here. Look at this. Look at this dude. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, and there's a bonus dude. Gotcha. I probably didn't need to heal. Oh, my gosh. Is that purple bird? Purple bird. I don't trust you, purple bird. What are these guys? Are these guys actually like, do they attack? Pardon? Man, 2k uh, runes. Not complaining about that. That's pretty sweet, Ka. That's pretty sweet. Ooh. Helmet? Ooh, I don't want to go down there. I want to go over here. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. By this purple bird. Come to me, purple bird. I wonder if he's a, a magic casting bird. Do you think he is? Do you think he's going to cast magic? Oh no, he just kind of hangs out. He's just a regular bird. He's just got purple wang. Why does he have purple wang? Thank you. And hello. Oh, I jumped over him. <laughs> you know, when you're on uneven ground, sometimes you jump over a bird or two. <laughs> All right, cool. Glove War 2. Kind of worthless. Like, oh, there's another purple bird. Can I not have horse? <gasps> can't have horse here. I don't know why I can't have horse. It seems like that would be a very reasonable thing for me to have. Whatevs, bruh. Hi, right, purple bird. Purple bird. Oh my gosh, I missed purple bird. <laughs> I was very thankful that he's slow. Secret? Secret? There's secret down here? Oh. Oh. Do the, are these guys going to shoot at me? That purple bird is chill right now. I don't know how long purple bird will be chill. But we'll see. As long as purple bird remains chill. Come on down, purple bird. Oh, he was guarding some purples. Maybe that's why they're purple. Okay, could you just chill for like one second? Brother, thank you. Jeez, he's not even purple bird, he's just regular bird with a purple tail. Thank you, friend. 
I get so distracted in this game, I swear. I see a way that looks like I should go. Or a, really, a way that I, I looks like I shouldn't go. And I'm like, that's the way I'm gonna go, baby. <laughs> but that's the way to secrets. And I feel like we've shown that secrets in this game kind of cool. I love finding things in these games that you're not really supposed to find on your first playthrough. I think that's really fun. It makes it so that it's like you really get a unique story. Because I feel like we're coming up on uh, St. Trina probably in this area. Oh, who, who's lobbing that? Oh, friend. Hello. Dog. Dog. Oh, I missed. I've fallen. Jeez, this guy's laser beams are laser beaming. He's not doing that much damage, though, which I appreciate. All right, bud, you can stay down there. I don't really want anything to do with you. Ooh, I've got to jump this. We leap. Hello. Oh, floaties. Ooh, ow, jeez. Laser. Oh, there's double lasers. That's kind of less enjoyable than the one laser. All right, we dodge. We weave. <laughs> we weave. <laughs> I became very French there for a second. We dodge. We weave. Hello. Woo! Gotcha, baby. All right, cool. So then I got to get up there to deal with other purple man. Purple man. Oh, bird. Thank you. Oh, I thought he was going to fall off the edge. <laughs> Ooh, where is this guy? Is he right up here? Is he? Oh, yeah, he is. Jeez, this guy's banana. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your just random attacks. Really didn't appreciate them. All right, cool. More burgeons. And, of course, a smithing stone six. Ah. Let me tell you, I haven't bought a single smithing stone. I feel like I should check out how many smithing stones I have, just on hand, because I bet it's an absurd quantity. Once I kill this guy, I'll check it out. Out of curiosity. Of sheer curiosity. Oh, let's see. How many smithing stones I have, because I never use them. <laughs> oh my god, I've got six ancient dragons? And four somber ancient dragons? Oh my gosh. And once again, never bought any of them past main game. I think I bought a couple in the main game because I was fiend in for a couple eight, I think it was. So that's it. And everything else is just collected. Ooh. Sweet. Dude, we're getting there. I don't know where there is, but we're getting somewhere. <laughs> okay, let's rest. Let's take a rest, real quick. I'll take a sip. Ah. For anyone who ever wonders what I drink, sparkling water, man. I always drink the sparkle waters. Ah. Refreshing, man. Get yourself some sparkle game going. Ooh. Oh, Skelly? What are you doing up there, Skelly? Oh, there's another one! And a third! Oh, Skelly, man. Thank you. I have to say, when I set out to do this challenge, right, of just... Oh, I couldn't attack you and you were just bones. When I set out to do this challenge of just the starting weapons in the main game, I wasn't even thinking about the DLC because I was like, oh, well, on DLC, I'm sure I'll try new weapons because that's just like what you do in the DLC. But the starting weapons, what on earth, have really not been that bad in the DLC. Like... I could, they, it could be way easier. What is this goofy boy? Like, I, I, I guarantee you, if I had chosen to do any other weapon, I'd be doing more damage right now. But I'm not doing terrible damage. And the Skidutri blessings, pretty, pretty clutch, man, just to be honest. A lot of blessings. It's so gross. That's 1,400 damage, though, with that. Not too shabby. What is this giant purple goo? What is it? And shield putrescent and dew gems. Real gross, friend. Real gross. Oh shoot! Misbegotten? A ghost misbegotten? I've never seen a ghost one of those. Oh, he does flop. Ow, jeez. Let me heal. Don't. I love that he's just here. He's like the first boss I fought in my playthrough. He's just here. Can I stagger him? I can stagger him. 
Oh my gosh, he's got he's got holy blades. That's freaking cool. Yeah, buddy, take some of that. And take some of that. Multi-layered ring of light. Hmm, pretty cool. I love that they are just they're still giving you more like spells and ashes because it's like really expecting you to explore. I appreciate that. Once again, not using any of the buffs because. I'm really even trying to make this game as difficult as I possibly could. For anyone wondering, there is a number of ridiculously good buffs that you can put on at any point in your playthrough. Um, for bosses, for really for anything. And if you uh, if you want to make the game easier for yourself, do a little bit of research into what of the what those um, buffs are and which ones you want to use, because it's like it's clutch, man. It's like for reals clutch. What's this grace called? Who's who's fighting me? Well, I'll rest here real quick. <laughs> Someone was fighting me. I couldn't check my map. <laughs> fissure depths. Is that what this is called? Yeah, fissure depths. Dude, look at these critters. Y'all just friends? Hi. What is this little guy? Oh, he's just one of the sleeping bears. Cute. I don't know why they're friendly. And they're just kind of hanging out there. But they're friendly. I'm not complaining about it. I didn't see what was at the end other end of this. Is this a bridge? What's going on? Oh, ghost. Oh, shoot. Head. Oh, please grant me the courage to fly to your feet, my dearest. St. Trina. So we are going to St. Trina. All right, ready? Woo! Okay, I hope this was the right thing to do. This seems like the right thing to do. I would have gotten the I died screen a long time ago if it wasn't the right thing to do. Okay. Boss room? Boss room? This, oh, boss room. This looks a lot like, oh, this guy. This looks like a lot like Medeer's, um, oh shoot, he comes flying in. Looks a lot like Nadir's uh, space in Dark Souls 3. The dragon. The big dragon. Jeez, buddy. Jeez. Could you let me heal? Thank you. Alright, let's see how much damage I do to him. Oh, you do great damage to him. And he likes to be... He likes to hit the far things. I appreciate that. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, he got me that time. Let's see how much my blood does to him. Pretty good amount of damage. Oh, his horse be going wild. He looks so much like the Orphan of Paws. Um, and his weapon looks just like it, too. For those of you who have played the Bloodborne DLC, he looks just like the main, the final boss of the Bloodborne DLC. And he's got a cool horse design. I dig it. Oh, dude, that looks gross. I don't like it. I think he's going to do something horrific. Oh, yeah, he's doing something horrific. Okay, let's just stay healed. Oh, frostbite. I don't like that. Oh, shoot. His attacks are even like the Orphan of Cause. Oh, shoot! That's not, though. That's unique. Okay, let's heal. Come at me, buddy. Ooh, I didn't mean that hard. Oh, his horse. Jeez, that, that chain is wild. All right, we can get him, though. I can get this guy. Ooh, putrescent knight. That's rude. Try not to do a summon, because I feel like I can beat him. We got him. All right. We came pretty close that first time, so I feel like from here, it's all about learning his moveset, obviously. So I'm trying my best to pay attention to it while, um, while talking, because you kind of do have to talk a little bit. But I feel like this time we got him. We got him. We. Oh, can I eat prawn while falling? That would be hilarious if I could. I'm going to get some prawn in me, so I resist some of his damage, because he's pumping out some damage. Prawn. Excellent prawn. Okay, he's coming. Can I beat him? Can't. Ooh, thought I dodged. And dodge. Let me get my stuff. Beautiful. A little, a little tap in the back. Oh, hey, bud. Could you not? Oh, okay, so he'll just keep doing that if I stay at range. Don't love that. Ooh, good dodges, though. Put on the bubble. And flip. And flip. Oh my gosh. And horse. 
And see him? I don't know how to dodge that. Horse! Like, seriously, I don't know how you're supposed to dodge that. Alright, come in, do some punish on the horse. Oh, he's, he's horsing. Little bleep. Dodge. Oh, I didn't dodge. Woo! He's going for up. Wow. He can pull back so quick when, once he lunges. These weapons are kind of hard with him. Oh, I jumped over his attack and under? That was so cool. Oh, I didn't jump under that one. Oh, we did a ton of damage there, though. Oh. Okay, heal. I should be able to jump in and hit him once. Oh, no. Ooh. He's hucking. Oh. Shoot. Ready to jump? We gotta jump over this. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yeah, that worked. Oh, that totally worked. Oh, that one didn't work. Okay. Ooh. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy, brother. Jump! Oh my gosh, I did jump. It works. So to jump over the you just gotta jump over the fire. Please don't be a fool. Thank you. We've got so many heals left. Beautiful. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. We're gonna heal. We're gonna heal. We're gonna heal. We got this boy. If I can get him second try, I'm gonna be so flippin' pumped about that. Just gotta roll. Watch out for the horse. Here comes the horse. Dodge the horse. Okay? Here comes the horse again. Oh, he's coming. Did I get him? Yeah! Second try on Putrescent Knight. That's freaking awesome, man. Ooh, Remembrance of Put Putrescence. I wonder if I get his uh, weapon. Oh, and a bunch of souls. <gasps> Ooh, that's really cool, man. That's really, really cool. I'm pumped up about that. Oh, we're going to get a level. Oh, and there's all this stuff for St. I bet this is where St. Trina is down here real quick. I'm sure she's down here. Oh, I don't know how much further. I might take a quick peek to see if this guy was just guarding. Because if he's just guarding and she's right there, it'd be kind of cool. Let's go see. If she's not right there, I'm going to head back. Ooh, purple tunnel. Ooh, I can't attack in here. <gasps> I can't attack. What are you? First off, bliss? Sadness? There's so many blood stains in here. Sleep required ahead. Oh no. What is this? Disciples Cookbook 3. Hold on, let me check this out because it's in a very, very specific place. I feel like if it's going to tell me something, it's going to tell me something important. St. Trina's Diary... or Cookbook, not Diary. <laughs> Don't know where I got Diary from. Lulling Branch. Huh. Let's check crafting. What lulling branch does. Slowly builds up sleep while gradually restoring FP. Okay. I am terrified to talk to her. Let me grab all these purples. Why is there so much blood right here? Why is there so much blood right there? It's terrifying. Um, can I talk to you? Whoa, is that... Let's see if I can get close to her. <gasps> That's her! She's part of this flower. Imbibe nectar? Oh, imbibe? What is what does imbibing do? Um take a little sip. Do my little masky mask. Mmm, Kool-Aid. <laughs> okay, I've gone to sleep. I haven't gone to sleep, I've died. That's not great. <laughs> I died? <laughs> what? I'm so confused. Because I can't attack down here. Right? It's all purple. Can't attack. Oh, so... Whoa. My runes are back here. Leap. Weird. Okay, well, hey. I think we got to the bottom of St. Trina's mystery, so that's awesome. There's a couple places I definitely want to continue to explore and get to. Oh, but this is a trip, man. St. Trina is insane. I just She just kills you. Oh, either way, thanks a lot for coming along on this episode, man, and I really appreciate anyone who's watching this with me because I've been having a blast recording it, man. Uh, so yeah, it would be uh, super helpful to me if you could drop a like and a subscribe on this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! We're getting
getting up to mischief Don't wait, cause I'm coming in hot Let's eat some biscuits, let's get